Hey everyone, Joe here. In this video, I want to show you how to uh, install and use presets in Adobe Lightroom. Now, presets, all they are is basically a configurations for all your files. So for example, if you edit a certain photo a certain way and do that a lot, you can save all your settings and your configurations over to a preset. That allows you when you go and pull in new photos, just go to that preset, click on it, and apply all your uh, retouching. So presets are pretty handy, pretty easy to use. And the best part is you can share your presets with other people. And now you purchase a bunch of these online, but don't, don't buy any. Actually, you can download mine completely free. Now it's pretty easy to get mine. Just simply go down to one of my videos, for example, the video that you watched this. And if you go down here into the description, you can click on show more, scroll down to the bottom, and you have this area here that says looking for Adobe Lightroom CC presets. You can simply click on that link, and this is carried to my Google Drive. Now in this Google Drive here, you can simply see my file here. Just simply click on it to download it, and it'll download them to your computer. So once these are downloaded, it's pretty easy to install them. So let's go here and just let me open up. Open downloads. There we go. And let's click my presets file and just drag it to the desktop. Now these are zip files that I've already got saved. What you want to do is go ahead and double click on it. And this will extract another folder. Now if you're running Windows, you may have to use something like uh, WinZip to un uh, unzip these. And if you notice, there are two other folders in this uh, file here. One is Joe's Develop Presets, and one is Joe's Local Adjustment Presets. The local adjustments are more like your brushes and stuff. So now you're probably wondering, now how do I install these? That's pretty easy. Now since there's a little bit of difference in the location between the folders between Windows and Mac, the best way is just to open up Lightroom and have it automatically show you where it is. And we can do that by simply going over here to Lightroom. And let this open up right quick. Now, once you got Lightroom open, you go into Lightroom's preferences. Now, this is a little bit different between Mac and PC, but not much. Simply click on preferences, and you get this area listed in here for presets. This is the same for Windows and Mac. And you have a little option here to show Lightroom presets folder. Click on that right quick. Now, once you've got that done, Simply just go ahead and close Lightroom out again. And now you need to uh, close it out because as soon as you install these, they will not automatically appear. You have to restart Lightroom. Now, once you've got that done, you'll have a folder here. Now, mine says Lightroom. And we'll see a folder here right up under it. This is Develop Presets. Then another folder below it says Local Adjustment Presets. Now, those are the folders we need to keep an eye on. So, let's get our other folder here. And let's choose the one that says Joe's Develop Presets. Now this one needs to go into the Develop Presets folder. Simply drag and drop it. We're done. Grab the other one here. This is Joe's Local Adjustment Presets. And drag it on top of Local Adjustment Presets. Once you get that done, you can simply close both of those folders out. And let's restart Lightroom. Okay, wonderful. So if we go over here, let me actually get a file here. Let's just grab one of the files here. <laughs> Let's go and develop. Wonderful. Now you'll see all these wonderful presets that I've already have created. So you can simply go like the black and white aggressive. And you can see this changes your fo uh, files and stuff. Now a lot of these may take a minute to actually load up after you click on it. But just be kind of be you know, patient with it. As in, when you install them, and it takes a minute to actually apply everything. Now, here's the catch to using presets. Not all presets are for everything, and not everything works exactly as you would think it would on every photo. Because these are uh, just presets. These help you get started in the right, right direction that you want to be going. So, for example, like this one here, uh, Truncament Mat. It's a lovely one. Not, probably not the best for this photo. But you can always change it. Now we go up to another one here I really do like. Classic matte. That one might look a little bit better. 
Okay, here's one, Beauty and Glamour. We find Fashion. Fashion is a nice one. All right, it's not listed in this one yet. That's when my new one's coming. That's another thing. I will be updating my presets periodically. So a lot of the presets that are not listed here yet that I've been working on will appear in a future update. So I always do check out, uh, back later on and see if I got new presets, which is another thing because all you got to do is just go into my, one of my recent videos and go down the link. You can always go to my Google Drive and get the latest and greatest presets that I've released absolutely free. So anyway, look at this photo. Now you see I have used this preset, but it might look a little bright. If we see our forehead here, it's kind of overexposed. We can simply lower the exposure until we get the actual correct exposure we want. And most of my presets are pretty much close. So at the most, you might have to adjust the actual exposure. And we say we get about 90 on the forehead here. For the reds, which is pretty close. It's maybe just a pinch overexposed, but still that's pretty close. Now some of them you might have to adjust the shadows and break it up and down to personal taste, but these are just presets to get you started. They're not the final, <laughs> as you can say, they won't automatically correct everything perfect every single time. So that's one of them. So let's go in here and let's take another look at another file. Now I have a lot of also presets here. Let me choose one of my travel folders here. And let's go down to Hong Kong. And let's just scroll here till I find one of the uh, images I want to use. Let me see here. I want to find some of the streets. I like streets. Here we go. Here's the one. It's a plain Jane street. Okay. We can take that one into the develop module here. And if, for example, we can click on cinematic mat. And we see that looks pretty decent already. I got another one here for Cinematic Mat 2. That one might look pretty decent for you. And let's see with Cinematic Mat 3. Yeah, it may not be the look you're going for. So the, anyway, you have lots of different presets and stuff that you can use and choose from. You can choose the ones you want. And just find what looks best for them. All right. We're not done yet. That's just the uh, develop presets. Let's go find us another file here. Here we go. This one's a pretty nice looking image. Let me see here. We might be able to pull back those skies just a little bit. Now over here, we can see we now have a whole bunch of other presets here on the side from everything from creative to landscape and portrait. Portrait ones are normally for portraits. The landscape ones are kind of just for backgrounds, landscapes, but they can be used with each other. So let's choose over here the what is that, spurious polarizing filter. Now this is a uh, one I used here, I designed, that kind of pulls back the skies. Now you can see it didn't do much here because the sky is very cloudy. But it did pull back some detail. Now this won't stop being polarizing light, but it will give you very, very close the same effect that you get if you had a polarizing filter. Let's see if we can't choose another folder uh, file here. Let me get one with the sky has a look a little bit better. Ah, wonderful. Here we go, right here. This is a prime example. Now we pull it across. As you can see, that sky looks now pretty much amazing here. And you can adjust it as you want it. So as you can see, not every uh, preset works perfect for every photo. You won't get the same results with every photo, but it might give you started in the right direction. I guess that's the best thing I wanted to say. So you can add that. Then you can also go over here to my other ones. And let's we'll say here, summer day, choose on that. Warm it up. Or we can stand and go ahead here to a truculent mat, which is a really nice one. If you like that mat finish, it's real kind of grungy. And let's we'll see if we got another one here, a little pastel mat. I even got some here I really do like, autumn mat. It's one of my favorites. Makes everything look kind of brownish, like it was fall season. But anyway, that's it for presets. That's how to install them. It's kind of how to use them. Like I said, you may have to adjust exposure on some of them. You may have to adjust the shadows. They're not there to get you the perfect photo every time. They're there to help you get started in the right direction, give you an idea where you want to go with your uh, image, and just kind of cut down on a lot of the work it takes to actually finally edit each photo individually.
So anyway, that's it for this little uh, quick tutorial. I hope everybody liked it and hope you uh, enjoyed the presets. And if you liked this video, how about give me a thumbs up? Thumbs up is always highly appreciated. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, you know, please take the time to subscribe. Subscribe is free. It's for you. I'll let you know when I release more videos. Until next time, everyone. Thank you for watching.